Hello, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the FET simulation on circuit building in order to complete the batteries and bulbs lab for class. I'm going to present my entire screen here so we can see both parts. When, give you a moment to catch up. Uh, when you go into it, the construction kit, you'll choose the lab option, select it twice, and then you've got this blue field. Over here on the left, we've got some various tools. They go way down, but we really only need the stuff in the very first option, and we don't need to deal with any of the other uh, switches or tools over on the right in this lab. In this lab, you're going to be testing various configurations of batteries, wires, and bulbs to see which one's light. It's not your purpose to try and get each one to light, only to reconstruct it as faithfully as possible to see which ones do. I've got the diagrams up here on the right uh, that are from the lab. And so I'm going to start with uh, letter A here. I can see I've got one battery here. I've got a wire and I've got a bulb. So I'm going to go over, click on these pieces and drag them out. So a battery, a wire and a bulb. And I want to arrange these so that the um, it is as close to this as possible. Now, if a, a wire is shown as bent in the diagram, it doesn't mean we have to bend it or get two wires to go together to make that exact shape. The important part is that I would be connecting this wire from the button part of my uh, battery right here to the bottom tip of my bulb right there. So I drag it over here. And I could try, and you notice that the uh, they are now stuck together. The can't even get them apart. The red uh, circle on the end of the battery and the red circle on the end of the wire have turned black, indicating that they are connected to one another, like so. Then I will go and I'll click on the other end of my wire and drag it up to the bottom connector on the bulb, and that's it. And I notice right away, ah, this one doesn't light. Okay, um, part of this lab is the screenshots. So uh, I can actually, I've got a big enough screen that I can put a bunch of these on together. So I'm just going to keep these in sort of the same configuration. I'm going to demonstrate another one of the uh, diagrams so that you get an idea of what I mean by these bulbs should go together in certain ways. Uh, let's look at, let's look at E. E has, a bulb or a battery. It's got a couple of wires, so I'll take those out. Might need more, that's okay. And it's got a bulb here. The bulb is upside down, so I can take and click on one of these, hold my mouse button down and pivot it so that it is basically in the same configuration. I could do that for a case like my diagram D with the, where the battery is backwards, I can flip the battery too. Uh, this one I want it with a button on the right. And I want to be careful about how I'm going to connect these to make sure that it looks like E. Notice that E has a wire coming from each end of the uh, ball or of the battery. So now those are connected. They've turned black. But then that wire goes to the side. Nothing's connecting on the bottom. So I do not want anything connecting to this bottom part. Instead, I would just to get it to bend. I'm going to move my wire around, but I'm going to get this to bend a little bit by putting one wire at the end of the other and then connecting that to the side. I'm going to do that again. I'll put a couple more wires here just to make sure it's nice and bendy. My last wire, let me keep this out of the way. Last wire, I need to connect the end of this wire to the same black circle, not to this open red one. That would be different than my diagram. So they'll connect together, no problem. And then to finish my observation, I would just connect these two. I don't want to do that because I don't want to spoil all the fun for you figuring out which ones are which. Um, and then uh, I could screenshot this or I could move it to the side. My goal is to for the lab to have you take a screenshot of every one of these trials. And we've got enough room that we could put maybe even all of them on this screen so that we can observe them all at once. Uh, ideally, you'd put them in the same order so that it's really easy to keep track of which one is which. 
but if you run out of space, you run out of space. And, and uh, I would definitely go A through A, B, C, do it in alphabetical order as you do. Each time uh, after you construct one of these as shown in the diagram, I want you to go back to the lab and note, did it light or did it, did it not light? And it's okay if it doesn't light, we're not trying to make them light. We're just trying to see which ones do and which ones don't. And that's all there is to it.